What's up y'all, B-Dub is back. Another anime DVD review. Today, Yu Yu Hakusho, the movie, and Aizo Hakusho. Intro, start. B-Dub, the anime master. B-Dub, the anime master. B-Dub, the anime master. B-Dub, the anime master. Dragon Ball Z, the anime master. Here we go, the anime master. Death Note, nigga. Dragon Ball Z, the anime master. So let's get started with the packaging for Yu Yu Hakusho the movie and Aizo Hakusho. Here is a few photos of the box set. Here we have the front and we have the back. Pretty standard artwork for a Funimation release. Take out the slip cover. Same thing on the front and the back. And of course we have the two DVDs. The first DVD has the feature film and a few of the clips that are all dubbed, like DVD one is all dubbed content and DVD two is subtitle only content, which is the Aizo Hakusho uh, music videos, OVAs, and the uh, Dark Tournament uh, Encyclopedia. Special features of this release includes Yu Yu Hakusho, the full movie, 25 minute feature film, Aizo Hakusho OVA, Nightmare Hakusho, scenes from the Dark Tournament, anti-piracy clips, Yu Yu Hakusho opening and ending encyclopedia, clean opening songs, and a vintage trailer. Video is 4x3, audio, English and Japanese languages, English 5.1 Dolby surround sound for the Yu Yu Hakusho feature film, and stereo audio for the other stuff, and we have Japanese stereo 2.0 audio. Now, the Yu Yu Hakusho movie, like I said, was a very short film, about 25 minutes long. It's pretty much your standard length episode type of feel to it. It's a pretty basic story. Uh, it's called Yu Yu Hakusho The Golden Seal. It's about this demon dude trying to take the golden seal from Koenma, and he kidnaps Koenma, and he wants Yusuke and the gang to bring the golden seal to him. So Yusuke, Kurobara, Hiei, and Kurama all band together to go and track down this guy, he, they, they, you know, fight his big demon, you know, henchman or whatever, transforms, you know, it's, it's pretty standard Yusuke, Yurameshi, Karamahie, Kuwabara adventure kind of stuff, Yu Hakusho kind of stuff. And uh, it was pretty short, kind of underwhelming in the sense of like, you know, I expected more because I never seen the original uh, first uh, Yu Yu Hakusho feature film. I only seen the Poltergeist Report film many years ago. I did have it on DVD a while ago, but I, I think I sold it or gave it away or something. Anyway, like this could have been like an OVA or like a TV special. I wouldn't really call it a movie because it's only 25 minutes long. Don't get me wrong, the film was entertaining and it was fantastic to hear the original uh, Funimation dub cast come back and, and uh, dub this film because it was, it was originally dubbed in English by a different company. I believe it was Central Park Media. They had their own dub. I believe it was with a New York cast from back in the like, early 2000s or the late 90s. Pretty bad dub. And also the Yu Hakusho second film also has a very awful dub as well. That is why I'm hoping that, you know, with the upcoming 25th anniversary Blu-ray box set coming out in Japan, Funimation will finally get the rights for the second Yu Yu Hakusho movie, Portugal's Report, and redub that with the uh, Funimation cast. As far as the Aizo Hakusho specials and stuff, it's pretty much just a series of music videos with the main characters. None of it's dubbed. It's all in Japanese. Uh, some pretty interesting and cool music videos. And, um, you know, it's like the characters, like the actors, the Japanese actors sing in character. Like the original Japanese Yusuke, Karama, Hiei, and Kobar, they sing in character. It's pretty cool. Pretty interesting stuff. Uh, you know, you got the anti-piracy clips and everything like that, which is pretty funny. They even brought back Damien and Clark to play Tagoro for that little uh, small clip, which I was surprised by, which I was really excited about. Uh, Justin Cook did a great job uh, ADR directing the dub for the feature film and for all of the dub content. He brought back like 99.9% .9 of the cast from the Yu Hakusho series like Amber Cotton, uh, Damien Clark, Casey Buckley, and etc. to come back and redub some of these small little scenes, you know, Laura Bailey, and etc. And, you know, pretty much people don't really do anime dubs anymore, unless it's super duper, like at a high, you know, frequent level. But overall, you know, it's a pretty standard release, uh, pretty standard special features, and etc. I do hope Funimation re-releases the first movie on Blu-ray, along with the second film on Blu-ray as well, in the near future. 
But like I said, if you are a Yu Yu Hakusho fan, you'll enjoy it. So I say it's recommended. Go pick it up. Video quality gets an 8 out of 10. Pretty standard video quality. I can tell they used a Blu-ray master on this DVD for the feature film. And it's pretty good. 8 out of 10. Audio gets a 9 out of 10. Fantastic Funimation redub and dubbing of the content that was dubbed on the first disc was pretty damn special and awesome as well. Box set packaging gets a 8 out of 10. Pretty standard slipcase DVD packaging and some pretty cool okay uh, artwork. I wish they would have included the original Golden Seal um, poster art, but I guess it was maybe a materials issue. I don't know. Anyway, and so that concludes my review for Yu Yu Hakusho, the movie and Aizo Hakusho OVA. Go pick it up if you're a Yu Yu Hakusho fan and want to complete your collection and check out some more Yu Yu Hakusho. Check out my Facebook fan page, leave a like for the fan page, and leave a like for this video as well. Also, follow me on Twitter. Links are in the description. Stay tuned for more anime, manga, and video game related videos, anime reviews, unboxings, and more. Peace.